We don't need an engine to push this copper rod on the rail. We just need the electromagnetic forces and move this copper rod on the rails. Magnetic rail. To make this, you need copper rod, strong magnets, strong 12 volt source like a battery eliminator, some flexible wires. First take this stand made out of wood and then scrape the copper rods with sandpaper to make sure that the rods are conducting. In case there is copper oxide deposited, we scrape it to make the rods conducting. Now place these 30 cm copper rods parallel to each other on the wooden holder. Connect the two wires at the ends of the copper rod and then connect them to the battery eliminator. The circuit is incomplete since the rods at the other end are unconnected. But now if we place a copper rod on these parallel copper rails, the circuit is complete and the current is passing through these parallel rods along this perpendicular copper rod. Now switch on the battery eliminator and bring this strong magnet near the copper rod on the rail. The rod starts to move. You can keep pushing it all the way to the end. Now to make the rail reverse, change the magnet and keep pushing it and the rod gets pushed on the other direction. The current passing through the copper rod creates a magnetic field around it. And this magnetic field with strong magnet gets repelled or attracted causing the rod to get pushed. And this is the engine which powers our copper rod. When the rod gets to the other end, we need to change the direction of the magnet to bring it back. We use long copper rods as rails because copper is a good conductor. Other metal rods could have been used, but we would have required a more powerful DC source. So keep pushing the rod on the copper rails and make this magnetic engine and have fun. Thank you.